Immediately following shearing, Hake monolayers are transported to the microscope station for assembly of the VMMC. The VMMC is attached to the vacuum hose and submerged in DI water to remove any air bubbles trapped within the channels. With the vacuum valve initially off, the chamber is carefully pressed on top of the monolayer and the vacuum valve is switched on. It is critical here to ensure that no air bubbles have been trapped within the channels of the chamber. Now 80 microliters of HBSS with calcium and magnesium are pipetted into a reservoir made from cutting the tip off of a 19 gauge lure lock needle. Fluid is pushed out of the tip by firmly pressing the top of the reservoir which is then inserted into the inlet port of the VMMC. The whole assembly is placed on the microscope stage and the microscope, camera, and video monitor are turned on. A 10 milliliter glass syringe is loaded onto the syringe pump. Next, the syringe tubing is connected to the outlet port of the VMMC. The flow rate is set to induce a shear stress of one dyne per centimeter squared within the channel and then run in refill mode such that the syringe pulls fluid from the reservoir through the channel. THP1 cells stimulated with SDF1 are suspended at a concentration of 2 million cells per milliliter. Within two minutes of flow activation, 50 microliters of cell suspension are added to the reservoir again taking care not to introduce air bubbles. Upon fully developing flow, video is captured at 3 frames per second and data is enumerated using ImageJ software. Adherent THP1 cells are defined as moving no more than one half cell diameter in 10 seconds. Here we demonstrate data depicting THP1 adhesion to Hake monolayers stimulated with TNF-alpha and conditioned under either a steady high wall shear stress of 15 dynes per centimeter squared or an oscillatory shear stress of 0 plus or minus 5 dynes per centimeter squared. Hake monolayers conditioned with oscillatory shear stress exhibited threefold greater THP1 cell recruitment compared to monolayers that experienced a high shear stress.